G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another vlog. And today's topic is this, how to succeed with your very first property. Let's get it started. So guys, I've been investing in real estate for many, many years now. And I've made money on deals and I've lost money on deals. And this particular year, I've probably lost the most amount of money that I've ever lost throughout my entire real estate career. Now, I've also been very fortunate to complete over 500 real estate transactions, but who's counting, right? Um, and experience has led me to believe that when you are looking at doing your first deal, okay, for all of you beginners out there, that you need to start off small, slow, and cheap. So let me talk about small, slow, and cheap. Um, a lot of folks out there, uh, you know, that I've come across and that I've spoken to um, that wanted to work th with me through one of my various companies, they all get excited about, you know, investing in real estate and this new passion that they found called real estate investing, right? So then they go and borrow a lot of money, refinance out of their existing place of residence, go off, ask mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa to give them all the cash that, cash that they have, and then they just go out into the market and they want to buy every property that they see or they want to buy the biggest piece of crap property known to mankind because they think that they are experts at renovating because they've watched one of these fake reality TV flipping shows. Okay, guys, bad idea, wrong move, don't do it. Um, this is what I believe that you guys should do. I feel that you need to find an affordable area predominantly a B or a C, even a C class area, even though I know it could be a little bit rougher from a, from a property management standpoint, but hear me out here. Um, I also believe that you need to invest the least amount of money possible because the least amount of money, the less money that you invest, the lower your risk you will be. That's just common sense. Less money equals less risk in my opinion. Um, the more money you invest, the more risk you'll be taking. Why I say this guys is because the likelihood of you losing and not doing well on that first transaction is like right here. Um, unless you kind of strike it lucky and I don't believe in luck, you'll probably make money and do well on your first deal. If you break even on your first deal, that is freaking great. I lost on my first five deals, okay? So if you can do better than that, I think you're doing well. Just don't give up if you lose and if you make mistakes because they'll make you better. Trust me, after deal 500, you'll be thanking me for it. Um, guys, start off slow, start off small. Find the lower end area, Buy a property for the, for the least that you possibly can and make sure, please, I'm begging you on this one, that it doesn't need much work. Forget about structural renovations. Forget about rebuilding foundation walls. Forget about major electrical work, major plumbing work, roof. Forget about all of those things. You don't want to be replacing a roof. You want to buy a property that doesn't need too much work, that at best needs just a cosmetic rehab. Paint, carpet, linoleum in the bathroom, linoleum in the kitchen, just very basic cosmetic things. Now, another thing that I would advise you guys to do and something that I've been doing very, very, very heavily, um, and that is I negotiate really, really long and hard up front. And if you're in a buyer's market like I am here in the Midwest and particularly Toledo, Ohio, there's a lot of sellers that want to sell because there's not that much competition. So anyone that comes along with a firm cash quick close offer, they will accept a deal. So what I have gotten smart at um, is instead of buying properties that need a lot of work, buying them dirt cheap, spending four to six weeks renovating them. When you renovate, you take on a lot of risk because there's a lot of outside factors that you can't take into consideration, like contractors screwing you or the city shutting you down. And then I would sell these properties for a very decent profit to investors that were looking at buying. Now, even though I might make a bigger profit on paper because I bought the distressed property and I fixed it and I sold it and I made my margin, what I've gotten smarter at doing, guys, is realizing that time is money. So now I'm spending more acquiring properties that do not need too much work, but turning them around quicker and making a less profit on that particular deal. Okay, so that 
is my message to all of you beginners out there. I hope you can learn from it. This is coming from someone that's done a lot of deals, made a lot of money, lost a lot of money. Start slow, start small, start cheap, negotiate well. And guys, remember that you do not make money when you sell, you make money when you buy. So make sure that you buy below market value, buy cheap, negotiate hard. Um, hey, that's pretty much it. Um, hey, any questions? I'd love to hear from you. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Please comment below. I'll check out all of the comments. I'll respond to everyone as quickly as I can. Um, and that's pretty much it. I really appreciate you listening. Once again, I'm Angelo Romora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. I'll catch you in the next vlog.